tribute Steve Davis trophy. I gather the great man himself will be here to present it to the winner later on today. What a thrill that will be for whoever is crowned English Open champion. And what a start from Liang Wenbo, a break of 95, clearing the table impressively after Judd Trump had missed a black off its spot. Greg Coniglio, our referee. This is the second time he's officiated a major final. Big thrill for him too. And what an opening red that is from Liang. He potted some of those last evening. None better than that. Wow. Do you think he's up for this, Phil? Well, I think he would have taken an enormous amount of confidence out of the way in which he came back to beat Stuart Bingham last evening in such a high-quality match, the way in which he held firm under pressure at the end. I think perhaps the one thing really lacking from Liang's game up until very recently is belief and I think he's beginning Six. to address that now. And you can see the talent he's got at his disposal. Well, if you can lift the trophy today, you know, the, the players go forward and it's just thinking, well, I can do it. Well, I can win this one, I can win anything. Seven. OK, the World Championship is a different ball game. But he's certainly playing well enough. And we know there's plenty of snooker ahead for these boys. They're, they're in a really busy period. They go to China next week for the international. Then there's an invitation all the week after that. Straight back for Ireland. So it's full on at the moment. A lot of travelling to be done, but the rewards are fantastic. Twelve. It's all about application, Phil, and trying to pace yourself, isn't it? Well, it wasn't long ago that 13. professional snooker had been reduced to almost a part-time sport with only half a dozen major events per season. Now... The year is jam-packed with opportunities to win trophies, collect big prize checks. There's never been a better time to be a professional Twice. snooker player. 21. Well, this is... A seriously impressive start from Liang Wenbo. Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, watching with us back in the studio. Ronnie, you must be impressed with the way Liang is queuing here. He's picked up where he left off last night. Yeah, amazing, really. I mean, that first red he just potted in this frame was... Uh, I was looking straight down the queue and he just, he could, you couldn't have shot any better than that. And, um, you know, a good first round. I know Judd had a chance, got in, missed a, missed a relatively easy bet, but, you know, it was, you know Liang took his, took his chance well. Um, I think today's going to be a long, a long day, and I think it's important 36. for Liang to just stay calm. It's, it's not a sprint, it's a bit of a marathon, really. So, you know, just conserving a bit of energy and just playing a bit efficient, like what he's doing now, and, and trying to not get too excited or uh, uh, give him a great chance of if he's going to get his hands on the trophy uh, today. That's what he's going to need to do. That's probably more important than, than anything else he does today. And then, and then obviously his talent will hopefully come out um, well. Ronnie, Mike in the com box as well. Just uh, I just noticed you were chatting away with uh, Liang. Are we are we privy to any of that? What you were just nah. saying to him? Just so that it's nice, to keep it nice and calm. Yeah. Now listen, Liang's a really good friend of mine, and and, and obviously Judd is as well. 
But Judd's won so many tournaments, he just does his own thing, you know, he's got his own mindset. But Liang's asked me a couple of times certain things, and I've tried to help him. I love to help players if I can, you know, um, especially ones I, I get on well with. And, um, and, and I wouldn't discuss what I, what I talk with Liang. I don't think that's fair. If he wants to talk about it, then that's fine. But, you know, if I can help someone, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to do it. And, and he's playing fantastic, not because of probably what I've said to him, but just that he's feeling, he's feeling relaxed and confident out there and he's, and he's enjoying it. Which is, Mike, you know what it's like. If you can't enjoy it out there, you, you, it's, it's a really tough place to be. So, but if you are, then it's a great place to be. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well, it would certainly appear that Liang is enjoying himself at the moment. This is some early statement of intent to do, to get this frame in the bag, but what an opportunity he's got for a 2-0 advantage. 53. And Judd Trump still pretty much ice cold, having had very little table time. He won't panic, of course. He's been here and done it before. He's often done this kind of thing to his opponent right off the bat. One second, Leon. Yet to miss a ball. Thank you. Fifty nine. Sixth. Another red and a colour. 65. Judd Trump will need snookers. Sixty six. The crowd know the significance of that black, so does Liang. What a dream start. This is seventy three. Seventy four. Well, ninety five in the first frame. Could this be a century? He had two last evening against Stuart Bingham. Well, that was an unbelievable um, run of frames between those two. Eighty-one. Nice little cannon there as well to open up the reds. Now he's got every chance to make the century. Just if he can pop this one in, get himself on a colour. The rest are available. Oh, look at that. The thing is as well, they're all going in the middle of the pocket. Eighty-two. That was a kick by the sound of it, which took the pace out of the cue ball. Well, just look at this where to get in. At the time, I just said, wow, and it was brilliant. Well, this needs good cueing to continue. They'd have been lucky with a kick there from the blue. Well, it's easy at the moment. But Ian Umberg, it really is. These, these pockets must feel like buckets to him. Well, I don't think this was in Judd's script. Frustrated that he hasn't landed as intended on his next red when he was so close to another century break. Well, he's looking to try and play a double here. This will be some shot considering how close he is to the red. He's got to hit it thin and get the power. 
Well, I think it was there, but he just couldn't get enough weight on the ball. Another fabulous contribution, nonetheless, from Liang Wenbo. He is playing the snooker of his life right now. He's doubled his lead in no time at all.